Hi, I'm Dr. Tash, and today we'll be talking about the humble potato. And why you should consider perhaps not eating too many potatoes as you're trying to get pregnant. Now a little bit about potatoes. Depending on where you live in the world, you might have different options for buying potatoes. Uh, in Australia, we have commonly the brush potato, which you can see here. We've got the Desiree potato, the Kipfla, and the Shat cocktail potato. Potatoes are a staple food. After wheat and rice, the third most commonly consumed crop in the world. They feed a lot of people. It's interesting though, per 100 grams of white rice and white pasta will actually give you more calories than potatoes. Potatoes are filled with goodies, minerals, vitamins, they're high in fiber, they have good protein. Not only that, they're pretty versatile, they're affordable, and they're easy to get. I love my potatoes fried. I think a lot of you do too. This is my favorite potato to fry, the brush potato. I just fry it and then top it with oregano and feta cheese. But there are probably much better ways to eat potatoes. Potatoes are mainly carbs, carbohydrates. Um, they contain cells that are held together by pectin, a type of sugar. So in the cells you have starch molecules, which are made up of simple sugars that stick together. Unlike a lot of other veggies, the issue with the potato is that it can cause negative effects on glucose metabolism. Potatoes contain a lot of rapidly absorbable starch, so that when you actually consume potatoes, you get quite a spike or a peak in your blood sugar levels. Now over time, sustained high blood sugar levels can lead to things like insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. In general, high starch potatoes make the best French fries. And why? Maximum crispiness on the outside and fluffy goodness on the inside. French fries probably aren't the best way to have potatoes though. They can be quite high in glycemic index and glycemic load. The issue with making French fries is that when you're actually frying the potatoes, you're creating harmful byproducts that can lead to inflammation. As you can see, different potatoes look different. Not only are they different the way they look, but also they have different glycemic indexes and glycemic loads, which means they'll have a different effect on your blood glucose levels. I'd really encourage you to go to this website to look more up about information regarding glycemic index and glycemic load. have some boiled potatoes and I've let them cool down. This is a much better way to eat potatoes than frying them. The GI and the GL is a lot lower in a boiled potato that's been cooled compared to a fried potato. Lunch is served. Recently in the British Medical Journal published in 2016, was a study that looked at the association between potato consumption before pregnancy and the risk of diabetes in pregnancy. The other name for diabetes in pregnancy is gestational diabetes mellitus. They looked at about 15 and a half thousand women over 10 years and assessed their consumption of potatoes over four years. Now, what did they find? They found that women who consume more potatoes before pregnancy had higher rates of developing diabetes in pregnancy. A substitution of, say, two servings a week of total potatoes with other veggies, legumes and whole grains was significantly associated with a 12% lower risk of gestational diabetes. So in this paper, they did ask the ladies in the questionnaires um, the cooking method that they used to uh, prepare their potatoes. Uh, most of them had baked, boiled, mashed potatoes or French fries. 
But what I would have liked to have seen um, was more information about the types of the potatoes that were actually used. You know, what type of potatoes did these women, women use to actually make their fries? So it's important to ask this question because if you head over to the glycemicindex.com website, you'll see that it's not only the cooking method that determines GI, but importantly, the type of potato used and how it's used in its cooking method. So head over to this website for some really useful information. So don't fear the spud, just be smart about the spud. Don't have your fries, have your boiled potatoes, or maybe have a salad niçoise, as the French would say. I hope that the paper hasn't scared you from uh, consuming potatoes, but just be smart about them. Thank you for watching Dr. Tash TV. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have making it. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any goodies. Until next time, be well.